Hello and welcome to Renslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality and beyond in the age of artificial intelligence. And today, today we are going to talk about the resolver. Oh, resolver, what is that? It is something that helps you, helps your robot partner to use its joints so that it can help you to do something that you really want to do and you know what you are going to do with your robot partner. I'm not going to elaborate it. I'm not going to explicitly describe what you are going to do, but you know what to do. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. And before doing that, I think we can just uh, talk about the inner mechanism that helps your robot partners to get prepared for the grand stage in your bedroom and we should keep in our mind that the players are all mechanical parts. Whirling and bending, lifting, stretching, trying their best to know just where they are and what they are doing. We already met that fellow, proprioception. I talked about it in my previous video. If you have not watched it, I will request you to watch it because if you really want to know everything about your robot partners this channel is the place where we are talking about your robot partners your robot partners all the body parts how they work how they just help you to get the most out of it right think of your robot partner less like a sleek modern gps and more like a seasoned prospector with a well-worn map and an uncanny sense for the lay of the land. Here land is your body, here land is its body, body parts. Even when the weather turns foul, it knows how to tackle that difficult terrain. Now, let me tell you, some sensors are delicate instruments needing clean rooms and gentle handling so don't mishandle your robot partner never you have to handle it carefully right just you are handling your human partner carefully same thing same thing should be applied for your robot partner why because your robot partner has seen things vibrations that would shake the teeth out of lesser sensors just think about it because temperatures that swing from arctic chill to desert bake that is not good for your robot partner make it something that is that makes your robot partner comfortable now there are a lot of things to be done a lot of things to keep in our mind that means there are some traditional methods there are some modern methods because your robot partner does not count pulses of light or rely on intricate optical patterns that can be obscured by a single speck of dart. No, the resolver, resolver we are, today we are talking about the resolver. Resolver works with the fundamental forces because after all, at the end of the day, what we are going to do with our robot partners? We are going to apply some forces in some cases, in most cases, some for some people in most cases. We are applying forces. Otherwise, how could we uh, do something with our robot partner? Do some physical activities with our robot partner, isn't it? That is the question we are uh, th that are haunting us, isn't it? So therefore, the resolver basically works with the fundamental forces, the very magnetic heartbeat of the machine, which is attached to your robot partner. And your robot partner, essentially a small robust transformer, has some robust transformer that spins along with the joint. And, you know, for 
what these joints are meant mean for isn't it the robot partner monitoring that joint what you are doing to that joint this internal magnetic field shifts relative to stationary coils around your robot partner it's like it is uh, reading the magnetic compass points at every angle sending back a signal that varies smoothly continuously telling you exactly where that joint is in its rotation it is a couple of trusty companions in the world coils remember one coil gets an electrical nudge a sort of are you there signal kind of signal the reference signal then based on the angle of the spinning part and of course your you are applying force in some joints and the, it, it reads the angles two other coils positions to, uh, it, it, they are positioned suppose 90 degrees apart they respond okay so therefore it's kind of a trigonometric uh, physical activity like high signal from sine then low from cosine kind of things there are little bit of mathematics you know in robotics there are mathematics so you cannot escape it anyway this analog nature is both its strength and perhaps its less glamorous side it does not immediately spit out a clean digital number these signals need to be interpreted decoded by another piece of hardware or software that understands this particular language of varying voltages because when you are applying forces voltages also vary inside your robot partner there are a lot of complex mechanism going on nothing doing the same thing happens to us believe it or not when our body uh, get bodies get entangled with other bodies or something like that there are a lot of chemical reactions happening inside our brain inside our body so robots doing what robots are emulating us isn't it they're just copying what we actually do our cognitive behaviors cognitive our thinkings kind of things not awareness in particular of course not not consciousness of course not not sentience of course not but something that can be like your human partner now compared uh, to this often younger faster cousins the optical encoders the resolver might seem a bit slow a bit okay uh, because encoders are more modern uh, concepts of course encoders can offer higher resolutions spitting out thousands of pulses per revolution giving incredibly detailed information they're like high speed photographers capturing every tiny movement every tiny movement but put that photographer in a sandstorm or blast him with radiation and his delicate lens and sensor might not fare so well isn't it so the resolver the old prospector just pulls this hat down lower and keeps reading his magnetic compass maybe not with infinite precision but with enough accuracy to get the job done reliably every single time in conditions that would make the photographer pack up and go home but for the resolver only for the resolver you can apply forces and robots they are not made to uh, especially their encoders are not made to uh, handle those forces human forces you are applying on it but resolvers are there to organize things in in a more efficient way so that everything goes very smoothly so resolvers work in concert with other systems of course uh, you know the, that joint sensing drama that means you are doing something on the joint isn't it between the uh, hands or legs or some body parts isn't it so this joint sensing drama isn't a solo performance his angle information is often fed into control systems that command motors and actuators telling them how much to move or what to stop how much 
it should lift your lift its legs how much it should stretch its legs according to your force it decides these resolvers decide this is digital language of course not our language researchers are exploring new materials for these coils uh, so that uh, they can improve accuracy and reduce any slight wobbles in, in its readings at different temperatures uh, there is work on refining the algorithms that decode his analog signals we'll talk about th those things later in our later videos of course because we need to know our robot partners thoroughly from head to its toe every part we'll learn we'll know we'll know it better than any human partner so that that is our satisfaction that we know our partner in a better way and you know for the human partners we can't do that because our human partners are more complex they don't allow us always to know everything isn't it and we also don't allow ourselves so that they should know us in the reciprocal way that's a different thing different story i'm not going del uh, not going deep into that topic at present but we can know our robot partners we can know yes so new applications keep popping up too often in places where they are not in hearts or you apply more forces than needed sept and where sept is very 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 paramount so that is why an electric vehicles become more complex resolvers are finding homes in steering systems and motor controls you will find it find them find resolvers in uh, self driving cars you will find them uh, in uh, in, in, in robots that uh, do some thing in, in the warehouse. Okay, working on, on the factory floor or even surgical environments. So, Resolver's toughness is something that make him a prime candidate, prime factor in any kind of robot partner. So, next time you see a robot arm performing a complex task like holding your limbs okay and in a precise way it applies a force that you want not more not less perfectly you want and it does it gracefully how does it do that it is because of the resolver so in that case please spare a thought for this rugged old explorer the resolver it is likely in there somewhere doing its job reading the magnetic fields providing the essential positional feedback that keeps the whole show running smoothly proving that sometimes the oldest toughest tools are still the best for navigating the world's roughest terrain it might not be flashy like modern encoders or sensors or something like that but it is reliable resolver and in the world of mechanical motion reliability is the richest gold of all and for in our in the case of our human partners sometimes we lack this thing reliability isn't it okay so if you like this video please share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified because i upload one video every day on robots on your robot partners something very interesting is going up also you will get tomorrow so meet you in the next video till then goodbye stay safe and take care